We want to introduce uh, the ninth SDR A, ninth SDR Academy. We are very proud that we get the project until the ninth time now. So this is a good idea to start into the first uh, step, Markus. Right. Okay. So uh, the event here is a hybrid event, which means that we're streaming to uh, YouTube. Um, but, of course, we're also here on site, and uh, we came into this mode because of Corona, so we were ready to work in a hybrid mode right from the beginning because we have a very, very good, a very uh, skilled and experienced video team. So it's not just the two of us, but it's uh, all of our video team who are contributing and, and making the best out of it and, and really boosting the value of this event. We should make a warm applause for the video team. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm also very proud and proud to have you and, and happy and glad that you're contributing, doing such a good work here. Yeah. Thanks so much for all those years of co cooperation and I always enjoyed it and same thing this time again, of course. So. Um, we have uh, a program today, and let me briefly show you the program. Well, we don't have it on screen, but uh, I guess most of you have seen it on the website. Um, we have a first block um, with Andrea Spies, Lawrence Barker, and um, Gwyn Griffiths, Nigel Squibb, uh, Rob Robinett. Then we have the lunch break from 12 to 12.30. We have... Um, the Ulrich Rode Award Ceremony at uh, 12 at 12:30. Then we have um, uh, a talk from uh, Gerd Hering, uh, Daniel Esteves, and then we have a coffee break. Then we have a talk from Stefan Scholl, from uh, Jakob Kettel, Andre Buar, another coffee break. So we have enough coffee breaks here. And in the evening or late afternoon session then will be Murat Sever. Uh, Bastian Blössel, and we have a um, contribution from uh, Jean-Michel Fried, our colleague from the um, European New Radio Days, and then we have a wrap-up uh, at uh, 17.30. Yeah, um, we're going to moderate the entire event, and um, for you as an audience, we have some little requests, uh, notably here in, in the middle, there is the camera alley because we have the camera on the on the rear part of the hall. So please don't walk in here because you'll always blind the camera. And um, when you when you're asking questions, please use the studio microphone, which will be there, and you just need to unclip it and then talk to it. Um, yeah, and the questions, at least the audio of the questions, at least when you stay on your seat. Uh, will be part of the video and will be later also on, in our YouTube channel. So we are, we are producing a live video stream right now and the video team is later going to cut the video stream into individual talks and um, those talks will be later made available on our YouTube channel which is also uh, reachable through uh, youtube.scra.io. Okay, so the Ulrich uh, Rode Award will be a ceremony which uh, is uh, held uh, or hand over by the uh, IARU President Region 1, Sylvian Azarian. Uh, and I'm very uh, happy that he will come here and uh, make this uh, for uh, the award available. Uh, uh, I want to mention the IARU Re Region 1 workshop, Future of Ham Radio, and I pulled out only three points, which uh, to my uh, opinion is a very impression uh, uh, result of the work. The amateur radio is seen to be providing social, economic, ed educational and other benefits to society. Experimentation, innovation, and creativity are central uh, to amateur radio, which is publicity, 
repeatedly recognized as the leading non-commercial community on wireless communication. Amateur radio provides a support environment for self-development ex uh, excellence uh, within communications and technology supporting the development of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills. And this is the motto of Ham Radio this year, you know, uh, wir machen MINT. MINT is a German translation of STEM. Yeah? So this is very nice that uh, the IARU is now for, uh, heading the same as the Ham Radio did. Or I think it's uh, the inverse, but <laughs> it's okay to me. <laughs> Thank you very much, and hopefully, uh, I think this is a good uh, motto for um, the SDRA as well. Um, so I should mention what is the target. Do you like? Yeah. So when we created the SDRA, we thought about that it should be a, an exchange platform. Well, in the beginning, we thought about calling it university, but. Uh, we thought, okay, university is maybe not the right direction because it's actually a, an exchange platform, it's a, it's a teaching platform, it's a self-development platform. Uh, it should be application-oriented and it should fill one specific gap that was this, the gap between science, industry, and amateur radio. And uh, because back then in 2014, 15, when we thought about it, we felt that there was a, a widening gap between industry, academia, and amateur radio, uh, particularly regarding uh, SDR, and we felt that we, we, we had the mission to, to close this gap and, and to create a bridge, and this is what the SDRA uh, was meant to be and has been, has been in the nine years now. And um, we would like to turn you from listeners from a, a passive uh, from, from, from passive oh, users because you're consumer consumers <laughs> into active makers and we would like to enable you with this platform to create things yourself and to learn from the other contributors here to this platform and of course it's not about the two of us here but it's about you as the audience and it's about the speakers we have here. We're very grateful, very thankful to have very um, uh, experienced and skilled and uh, active speakers and have had them all those nine years now. Um, we would like to show you to make the first steps and to jump over those virtual walls. Um, we have had the impression that there is a, a steep learning curve in SDR and we would like to flatten this. And of course, if you walk to hall number one, you'll see a lot of products. In the meantime, in hall number one, most of the products are SDRs. It wasn't, it wasn't the case nine years ago, but in the meantime, and we would like you to understand those products and be creative, use them, and change them. Okay, so let me make a survey from the audience here and I uh, every I ask you some questions uh, give a sign and I will estimate how many are uh, uh, positive re reactions and I sell uh, tell it to the audience from my estimation so you get the answer of the audience the first one is uh, who has experience with SDR transmitters, receivers for ham radio, and I mean shortwave? Oh, that's uh, all, all I of the estimate 100%. <laughs> well, it's the first time. <laughs> uh, who has experience with FunCube dongle or RTL stick? Uh, I think about 90%. Uh, 95. 
who has uh, SDR systems hardware designed or assembled? Okay. Uh, it's about 15%. Uh, okay, nice. Uh, who has experience with USRP, HUG-RF, uh, Lime SDR, Red Pitaya, or Pluto? Oh, that's quite a lot. It's about 70% by estimation. Who has experience with FPGA and VHDL? It's about uh, 8%. Let, let me ask another question. Who of you would like to have more experience in FPGAs and VHO? Uh, it's about 15%. Uh, 15 to 20 percent. Okay. okay, thank you. Nice. There's a growing demand on that. Yeah, I, I think we should uh, find someone who can uh, good uh, held a talk the next years on that. Okay, uh, who one uh, has uh, experience uh, using digital modes, and I mean not FT8 or FT4. <laughs> Okay, this is about 80% from my estimation. Yeah, I, I see that. Um, uh, who one uh, has experience to use reverse beacon network, CW skimmer, uh, whisper radio? It's about 80%. Okay. Uh, who one uses and has experience with GNU radio? Oh, it's about 70%. Oh, very nice. Uh, who one has uh, experience with SDR experiments on VHF, UHF, not QO100? Uh, not QO100, so the, this is an extra, yeah? Okay, it's about 50% in my estimation. So I thank you very much. We are going ahead now.